Welcome to the Life Talk Up podcast, bodybuilder and powerlifter Jackson Trower. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Just enjoying myself overall. Yeah, you're uh, you're from Kansas, but you're visiting Colorado right now. How's that going? Correct. Uh, my mom lives here, so I'm just I'm enjoying it. Gonna have a good Christmas. Just enjoy my time here. Uh, there's a gym here I really like, so that's that's really cool. I love going there. Yeah, the mountains are super nice to to be in. So yeah, yeah. Especially it's cool just seeing them everywhere. Like you just they're just there. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. So how did you get into bodybuilding, and what made you want to do that? So honestly, there's there's this kid in my school who got my friend into it. And my friend was talking about it a lot. So I'm like, you know, what? I want to try this out because I'm, I've am i always been wanting to just be better as a person, like always. It's just how, I, how I've grown up. So I thought, man, bodybuilding would be a great way to do that. And I thought maybe I could just like become a leader and just like show people you could just, if you want to change, just change. Like it, you could, you really can do whatever you put your mind to. As cheesy as it is, it's true. Yeah. How, old <laughs> you, or how long have you been doing it? Uh, I've been taking it seriously for around 15 months, but I have, I started lifting early, early sophomore year, but that lasted like three months and I stopped for a year and then I got back into it. So yeah. how old are you right now? I'm a senior in high school now. So, um, let's see. So how does somebody get into body lifting? If like, you know, uh, somebody kind of out of shape or whatever comes up to you, like they want to get like you, how do they do that? <laughs> So if you don't want to spend a, a ton of money right off the bat, then you honestly, if you know someone who lifts, talk to them about it. You could borrow their workouts or whatever, because that's what I personally did. I borrowed my friend's workouts. And once I started to get to understand it more, I started to make my own workouts. And then I just kept becoming more and more solo so that I could do it myself. So anyone can do it. And you don't need to necessarily start with like a template. You, you can learn, but it is much easier that way because then you can just do whatever you want after a few months. Yeah. Uh, when I'm looking through your pages, I see like a ton of confidence. <laughs> Are, do hey. you have like any insecurities, anything like that? or have I you definitely ever? have insecurities, but confidence is a big thing for me. I like to show people that that's, that's important. It's really, it's necessary, honestly. Uh, but I do actually have insecurities. I got like, this is really weird, but I got this thing on my chest. It's like my chest bone it sticks out really far. And believe it or not, that's actually another reason I got into lifting because like I was, I thought to myself, man, maybe if I get my pecs bigger, then it won't show as much. <laughs> and now like it honestly worked. <laughs> yeah. You can't tell. <laughs> <laughs> that's funny. Oh, uh, what are some struggles that you've dealt with? Um, not really too many. Like I haven't, I haven't had a whole lot of obstacles in lifting, but I have had a lot of like mental issues and I, I've had times where I thought that my, I was losing my memory and stuff and I don't even end I, We have no idea how that even went down, but at the end of the day, I'm fine. But I've also had roadblocks, like just not being able to make it to the gym all the time, but I drive. So it's not too much of a worry anymore. It's a uh, main obstacle is managing my time. I got to make time for everything. And lifting, my goal most days uh, is a two-hour lift, which, by the way, is not necessary. It's just I really enjoy the gym. So, so an hour and a half, two hours, usually what I go for. <laughs> yeah. Um, so what's bodybuilding done for you? Uh, overall, it's just made me, like, a happier person, honestly. It boosts my confidence, motivation. It makes it, like, I can help people. And, like, helping people just makes me feel so good about myself. And like at the end of the day, after all this, all this stuff, I realized that I could make this like my living. Like I've been talking to people in the DMs, just like deals, uh, modeling, personal coaching, all this, trying to trying to get myself set up for success. So bodybuilding will will do a lot for me in my life. Yeah. So you have some of that coming up in 2022, I guess. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. Um. Let's see. What motivates you and what kind of keeps you going? Uh, just knowing like when people, sh when people show me that I really am helping them makes me realize what I'm doing is it's not pointless. Like it's useful. Not only do I motivate myself, but then other people will come up to me and let me know that like, I've had people tell me that I inspire them. I'm like, wow, for real? <laughs> like I didn't know I could do that. And uh, yeah, it just, it's a really big ego boost. 
<laughs> Do you mean like locally or people on like social media just watching you and stuff? Anything, honestly, like my close friends, like random people in the gym, people DMing me on Instagram, just whatever. It's just everyone <laughs> makes me happy. <laughs> um, so you get your friends to go with you too? You, oh yeah, 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 yeah for sure. My uh, originally is few of my friend. Well, I've I've had friends that started lifting before me, and they helped get me into it. But I also have other people who have started going because of me, or or because they just saw what I was doing, and they're like, "Oh man, I want to do that." And then they're like, "They're they're huge, so it's great." <laughs> yeah, uh, have you thought about doing any competitions at all? Um, not, not particularly body, bodybuilding, but powerlifting I have definitely thought about, but I have not gotten into it yet, but still, I, I do still think about powerlifting pretty often. And if I am going to get into it, 22, 2022 will probably be my year because I am about to lean bulk, meaning I will most likely get more strength and I'm hoping to lift really heavy this year, next year. <laughs> if you get on it, you're, you're winning. You're at least top three. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> what other sports are you involved in um so a lot of people like to like a lot of people think i wrestle like I, people will ask me all the time do you wrestle i'm like no nah. <laughs> but uh i actually do diving so one meter diving I've, I've done it since freshman year and i just i just got good at it so i stuck with it and i actually played soccer this this is why uh my calves are big it's not it's not genetics <laughs> i played soccer for like 12 years and then I got into lifting and I and I just I stopped playing soccer. I just wasn't too big of it. I kind of just fell out of love with it, honestly. But I've I've always loved sports. Any sport, I love it. It's fun. Yeah. Are you naturally athletic? Like, um, yeah. I was watching the Instagram uh, things and like <laughs> you're flipping off the back of <laughs> you're flipping backwards off of like a stack of like five ti uh, tires and stuff. Like, <laughs> are, is that something that comes naturally to you? Uh, doing that backflip, I could not do today. I don't have the balls I used to have, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I'd say I'm, I'm naturally aesthetic just because, did I say aesthetic? Yeah. <laughs> Athletic. Uh, just because I, when I put my mind to something, I, I think I can just really get good at whatever I really try to get good at. And I, I've been in the sports since I was younger and my dad was really athletic. So just put that all together and I, I was just an athlete. <laughs> Yeah, you got the you did the five, but then you stacked the six one on there. I'm like, holy shit! <laughs> like, Almost died. <laughs> yeah, you knocked off that six one. That was crazy. No, yeah, like, that was that was that was fun. Good adrenaline rush. I love meeting a, a good adrenaline rush. <laughs> um, yeah, and you even jumped from the uh, from the ground on top of a car. I was like, holy crap! <laughs> that was even when I wasn't strong. My vertical was always my biggest flex. <laughs> You can be a basketball player if you wanted to be. Um, if I wasn't 5'6". <laughs> um, yeah, so let's see. You, uh, you were really into swimming, though, and um, this, the dives that you were doing was amazing, too, backwards and frontwards. And Can you do still do that stuff? You said you are kind of – Yeah, I'm, I'm still on the team. It's actually going on right now. I'm, I definitely don't think I'm as good as I used to be. It's, it's just kind of something I do because I enjoy it now. But back, like, sophomore year, junior year, I was – throwing the craziest dives I've ever thrown. Like I can still throw the same dives, but just not as clean. If that makes sense. Yeah. Um, when you look at your progress, cause um, on your Instagram, you're, you post like a lot of different things from like a, a year ago, whatever. And you see like crazy progress from like kind of skinny to like swole. <laughs> I'm like, uh, yeah. How do you feel when you look at that and like see that accomplishment? It's literally my childhood dream. When I was younger, I always just wanted to like, be Bill, I'd like take pictures in the mirror and be like, oh, wow, I'm finally getting ass, but there'd be nothing there. But when I was younger, I was like, I always just had this idea that I wanted to be, I just wanted to be strong and fit. It's always been on my mind. So seeing those pictures, like even from like a year or two ago, being that much different is crazy. Like, I love it. Satisfaction. It's so, it gives me so much satisfaction. Um, so you posted a recap of your year on TikTok. Uh, just kind of the different things that have happened. You skipped October by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about October because I was quarantined twice that month. <laughs> oh, you had COVID? Uh, my dad did, so uh, I got quarantined. You never got it? Huh? Uh, no, I tested negative every time. Dang, that's crazy. Um, 
So yeah, um, January. You said you maxed out chest day. Uh, for somebody that doesn't work out, what does that mean? <laughs> that, that means in January, I was still a gym noob. Like I, st- I had been working out for around like four months consistently at that time or something like that. And maxing out every chest day, if you do that, you're not going to get any strength. And I did that almost every time. And it just, at the end of the day, my bench was not progressing at all. And it, the, the point of saying that uh, I did that was – Basically, I'm, I was still a gym noob and didn't really know what I was doing yet. Yeah, I Googled it and I'm like, oh, that's a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, it was not a good thing. I mean, it I wasn't was, like a terrible, terrible thing, but it wasn't great. When I first read it, I was like, maxed out every day, chest day. I'm like, what is it? I was like, does that mean like he did the maximum amount he could? Like, what is it? <laughs> well, yeah, that's what it means, but. <laughs> <laughs> um, February, it says you became a caffeine addict. That was just a joke. I mean, I I love I love caffeine, not gonna lie, but it's nothing that like affects me negatively. At least as of now, hopefully it stays that way. <laughs> but yeah, February. Honestly, February is a great month for no reason. I don't know why, but that's like one of them I actually remember. But that's what I threw on there. <laughs> I love this year uh, coming out. Of, well, not coming out of COVID, but like not being as bad or whatever. Like. Yeah, twenty one or two thousand twenty was awful. <laughs> yeah, it was so weird. It was so like up and down, and like I hit a peak and like a low point in the same year, and it was so weird. <laughs> did that? Um, did that span of time uh, during COVID help your numbers go up though? Because like people are bored, so they're like watching your stuff. Oh no! Back then, I wasn't growing. Like I, <laughs> I my nine thousand followers. Okay, literally two months ago. No, two two. Three months ago, I had a thousand followers. So the fact that I have nine thousand now had nothing to do with COVID times. During COVID times, I was playing video games fourteen hours a day. <laughs> COVID times were not a great time for me. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see. March, nothing really happened. Uh, April says you pulled a hamstring. Yeah, actually, uh, I was so stupid. I used to never stretch before my leg days, and so. I didn't really warm up. I just went straight to 245, which is not smart. <laughs> You're supposed to warm up first. And I, I, I started to hurt. And then I, I, I went up. And then I went for another rep anyways. And then I wasn't out, but I couldn't hit legs for, like, a few months. And it was it was terrible. <laughs> um, have you had any other injuries? Or is it just that so far? Um. Well, I re-pulled my hammy a few months after. But uh, I haven't – no, not really. I, I've had a concussion, probably a few, but only one that the doctor actually said I had. And I also – I think I pulled a muscle in my back sophomore year, which was – wasn't as bad. It healed pretty quick, to be honest. Is that some uh, – did that have to do with – you mentioned memory loss or something. The concussion had something to do with that? Uh, see, the thing is, though, when I got diagnosed with the concussion – we we never knew what it was from. Like I didn't ha- I didn't hit my head that I knew of, so he just called it a concussion because I was having like I was having the effects of a concussion, but I I really don't know the science behind that. <laughs> I I've worried about it a few times, but I'm I'm at a pretty good point right now. So, um, in August it said you started your first bulk. Yeah, I uh, started eating a lot. Really, it wasn't like a good bulk at all. I just started eating tons of food, like five thousand calories a day. You uh, thought that would help, but it it, it kind of did. Like, like it does help, but during the bulking process, it doesn't it doesn't feel as great. But once you cut back down, it's all right. Um. So let's talk about. <clears throat> sorry, <laughs> let's talk about that a little bit. Like, uh, what your diet looks like for um, bulking and shredding and all that stuff. Like. Uh, because that's a big part of it, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, for sure. So my uh, my first bulk, it was wasn't good. I ate five cal- five thousand calories a day, which is not it's not bad to eat that much if you are going for a bulk. But I wasn't like I had no like goal of like staying lean or any of that while I was bulking. So I was just gaining weight. So I got up to one fifty five, and then cutting cutting, you just gotta. I had to eat 2000 calories around 2000 calories a day and lots of protein and carbs and but it really wasn't that hard because since I'm in high school I 
I'm not going to be eating throughout the whole day because I have school. So it wasn't hard for me to do that. And now I'm about to start a lean bulk, which is a lot more, there's a lot more smarts into eating. Instead of, I mean, not smarts, but I think before I eat, I don't just shove stuff down my throat. <laughs> like I, there's certain things I gotta, I gotta eat. So you cut out like, I imagine you don't drink soda and stuff like that. I didn't even drink soda before. On it. Well, I did most of the time, most of my life, I have not been a big fan of soda, but that's literally just the idea of soda is unhealthy, but also I love energy drinks. So it's like fat, heart failure, which one? <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't drink pop. Never really have though. So yeah, just like water, energy drinks, coffee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pretty uh, much. <laughs> so let's see. November uh, or September, it says you realized uh, that you want to make a living off of this. Yeah, uh, that's when I started growing a lot on on Instagram. So it wasn't like, oh, I'm going to make a living on this right now. It's like, man, I got to take advantage of this growth and keep growing. And then I started to branch out and my my, my account just keeps growing. And since I'm like, I, I keep getting like people like you, you you came into my DMs. And you're like, hey, you, you want to be on my podcast? And I'm like, heck yeah. Like anything It's just it's just fun. I enjoy it. So I want to be able to do this and personal coaching, all that. So. Yeah, I saw you in my suggestions, and um, I've only done that one other time with this guy, Jaden Robago. He just looked really cool. But, like, I was like, people are going to want to know, like, how, you know, how, how do you get <laughs> looking like you do? And, like, and you just seemed really fun and interesting. So, that's dope. Uh, that's dope. I love that. <laughs> but uh, let's see. November, it says that you, uh, you had a 225 bench and you blew up on Instagram. That's what you were just talking about. <laughs> oh, yeah. November was great. Uh, Thanksgiving Day, actually. I carb overload because it's Thanksgiving and then I hit two plates on bench, which is like huge milestone. One of the biggest milestones I'll ever hit while I lift. So it's great. And my account just continued to blow up and I'm just going to continue to take advantage of that because at the end of the day, I love, I love my favorite thing about having all these followers is just people coming to my DMS and letting and telling me I inspire them. I'm like, bro, you gotta be joking. But then they're like, for real. I'm like, wow. <laughs> It's kind of like I blush a little bit. <laughs> people uh, ask advice and stuff like that. Oh yeah, all the time, and I love helping. So nice. Um, let's see. <clears throat> uh, December, you said nothing, but now you got recorded your first podcast. So <laughs> true. That's that's true. That's true. And uh, actually, I've actually been making career moves, if that's what you want to call it. So nice. Uh, what kind of career moves? Just so what we talked about earlier. Uh, yeah, yeah. Just having meetings about modeling and coaching and all that. So that's cool. Um, yeah, and you're actually associated already with something called uh, Clout Power. Uh, yep. Do you want to tell us yep. about that? Oh, I I'm, I love Clout Power. <laughs> so originally there was there was this there's was, there was this different brand that I was with, and I didn't enjoy it. Like it was just my first one, so I didn't realize. I didn't realize how easy it really was to become an ambassador. So I was really excited about that. But then I realized, man, this isn't, this isn't really it. So I, I was looking at other brands and all that. And I saw cloud power and then I messaged them. And when they accepted me, I'm like, wow. And they had a, they have this thing where they'll, they'll add you into like a group engagement group chat and like a group chat where you can talk. So they they really like to they they actually care about their the clout crew is what they call us they'll like message the chat all the time and see how we're doing and all that and if you message them they'll respond back and all that and they like actually care about your opinion and all that like so they'll they'll just ask us randomly for ideas and all that and they're just, they're just dope people like I talk to them in the DMs and I'm I have talked to them about future sponsorship. Because I'm not technically sponsored, I'm an ambassador. It's, it's honestly a big difference. So, hoping to stay with Cloud Power because uh, I actually got accepted by Bucked Up Supplements, which is one of my favorite one of my favorite um, supplement brands ever. And I declined them to stay with Cloud Power because I, I have a lot of good faith in Cloud Power. So I'm gonna I'm stick with it, and I don't want to switch up on them. <laughs> yeah, um, I have their website here, and. You got a little promo code. If you put in that, you get a discount. How you much get a fifteen? You get a fifteen percent discount, and I get the commission for it. So, 
it's helpful to me. Nice. <laughs> and it's a, it's a great supplement, so I recommend it. Yeah, That's good, why way I to, it. good way to support you uh, if your supporters are watching. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, how important is uh, supplement type stuff? Uh, when you're um, it's not necessary, but if you want to, people like me, I like, I, I, I don't, uh, let's see. I, I really like pre workout. Sorry, I'm stuttering a lot right now. I really like pre workout personally. I feel like it, it, it does help me a lot to increase the level of intensity I want in my workouts because if I don't have, so let's say I don't sleep a lot the night before, like sleep is also very important. Like, Natural stuff like sleep and vitamins are very important. Well, it's all natural, but you know what I mean. Uh, so those are very, those are most important, but pre-workout will just boost your overall just like energy. And I need that when I don't sleep or when I work out in the morning. So then you can work out whenever and have a good workout, but it's definitely not necessary if you want to get into working out, but I've gotten to a point where I need it <laughs> as stupid as that sounds. But uh, also I use creatine as well, which also no, not necessary at all. But if you want to use it and just overall bring out, just bring out the best of yourself, I guess you could say um, that's how you do so. And yeah. Um, so diet, um, exercise, obviously sleep you mentioned. Um, oh, yeah. Sleep so is so much more important than people know. Really? <laughs> yeah. Depending on my sleep and what I eat on certain days will completely like decide how good my workout is sometimes. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Is there anything else like mindset wise that helps? Like My mindset is the only reason I'm in this. My <laughs> you got to have the mindset for it or you're not going to you're not going to be able to like you'll you'll be able to lift and you'll be able to see progress. I'm sure. Like, obviously. But if you don't have the right mindset, you're not going to be able to actually like achieve the goals that you're trying to achieve. You got to have a great mindset. Like, yeah, so it, it keeps me going. Sleep, supplement, um, exercise, obviously. Um, yep. Good tips. <laughs> um, anyway. Yeah. What are some hobbies and interests that you have outside of bodybuilding? Um, I dive, of course. We already explained that. I, I like to play sports. I already explained that. I uh, like. I like to explore buildings, like. It's always been fun to me to just like go to like a weird place, like an abandoned place, and just like explore. Might be illegal, but it's just fun. It's a uh, enjoyable. With it's a good thing to do with your friends, especially in a place like Kansas. There's not a whole lot to do, so so you gotta find you gotta find what's fun for you. I also I'm not I don't do it a whole lot anymore, but I used to do flips a lot. So as I've shown. Um, and I hang out with my friends and my girlfriend. So whatever we feel like doing, honestly, just just driving driving around is honestly. I love driving. That's a, that's a great thing. And I could I can find fun out of anything. So, <laughs> do you have any interesting buildings that you found? Stuff like sounds like there might be a story there. <laughs> Possibly. <laughs> there's a there's an abandoned dog food factory somewhere out here, but. It's too many people started going to it, so now they have security on it, and yeah. But I, I do have not like any specific stories, but me and my friends have just explored it, and it, it was it was a really fun, like just bonding experience with me and my friends, like honestly. And uh, we we heard noises and stuff, and it was scary, and just the adrenaline. I love adrenaline, like I said, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> you mentioned your girlfriend. Did you start getting more interest from girls once you started working out? <laughs> uh, that's what that's a huge motivator for some people. Like, uh, yeah, yeah, no. Like when I started working out, I definitely started getting noticed more, which I always wanted. But it's it's not super special. Like I, I was happy before, happy now. But um, I definitely did get noticed more. And then I found Holly, my girlfriend, and then we've been dating for ten months now. So. She's she's been in it with me and she goes to the gym too, so she is a great motivation. Yeah, how how important is that the girl that you're dating also going with you? Is that like a big? Oh, problem? that means the world to me. Literally, like the first few months, the first few months she didn't go because she didn't have a gym membership or anything. But she uh, she she's always done like martial arts and stuff, so she's always been like athletic and into stuff. Um, but then 
I got her into lifting, like I'd always ask her to come with me and like get a membership and all that. And she actually canceled like her Spotify, uh, her Spotify and a few other things so that they could get a gym membership. And now I, her and her little brother, they have crazy genetics. They're so strong. She, my girlfriend's 120 pounds and she can deadlift 195 for three. And her little brother is 13 and 120 pounds and he can bench like 160 deadlift 255. He's crazy. He's about to be a god, that's for sure. But getting them into the gym was great because it it uh it started my personal training practice, honestly. So it's just it's great because they enjoy it, I enjoy it, so it works. We got your TikTok here. Uh what kind of stuff do you post on there? So I actually just started this recently because I want to branch out and get my name out on more platforms. So I just, I just post whatever I feel like posting. That's what I'm going to make out of it. Like I'm not, I, I'm going to definitely like put work into making content good here and there, but that's mostly for the Instagram. But TikTok is more like you want to see just like something random out of me. Like you'll enjoy what you see because I like to believe I have a personality for that. So. Yeah. I like that. It's um, not like a lot of other, cause you're kind of an influencer <laughs> like influencer level now but that's like, my goal it's still like fun like high school stuff it's not like like skits and stuff like that i kind of like that yeah um let's see we got your instagram also uh similar to your tiktok mm-hmm. except for uh with instagram since that's my main platform i've grown on that's where i try to post all my like serious stuff and like that. i also like to show my personality a lot because i don't want to just be boring I want people to know who I am. Like, so I, I, I feel like I learned the algorithm for Instagram. So I've been taking advantage of that as much as I can getting, getting myself out there, engaging with people, just letting it, just letting it go. That didn't make sense, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a, and you can go back and you can see when you look on there, like all your progression, like you can see it like when you're a little bit smaller and getting bigger and bigger pretty cool and yeah sometimes sometimes i'll look at old pictures and i'll be like have i even have i even like not like old old but like a few months ago i'll be like have i even progressed and someone will point out bro your arms look a lot bigger i'm like oh yeah you're right thanks (laughs) because sometimes it's hard to sorry i'm not trying to interrupt but sometimes it's hard to see the sometimes it's hard to notice the progress from like short term yeah is it um yeah like you have to have other people point it out to you you don't really notice it yourself yeah, for short term, but for long term, I definitely do see my difference, to be honest. Body dysmorphia is something a lot of people have a problem with, but for me, some every once in a while I'll feel small, but like body dysmorphia has never like really affected me negatively. So that's and a plus. What is body dysmorphia? That's where like if you're so if you're if you're into bodybuilding, you'll always want to be something bigger. You'll never just want to be just what you are. You'll always be trying to go up in the food chain. So sometimes you'll just like see yourself as like not as big as you really are. And that's just, that's just how it is. It comes with it. Honestly, one of the only negative things I could tell you. Um, let's see. You, you got your YouTube. I'm going to put the link in the bio, but they can also just type in Jack's aesthetics. If yeah. They want it'll pop up. Yeah. Uh, what kind of stuff are you planning on posting on there? So that's, that. this is also something I really want to get more into, but since I'm, since I'm still in school, it's kind of hard to get there, but I'm definitely going to try to grow my YouTube a lot once I graduate and I'm still trying to like grow it like now because Lex Little is, um, he's a big YouTuber and he's just been an inspiration to me. So I'm trying to become, I'm trying to get on the YouTube level like him one day. Like that's really everyone's childhood dream is to become a YouTuber. So if I could become a YouTuber for fitness, that just, mean everything to me so i'm trying to get my personality posted and let people know more about me and just like see how i how i really am more than instagram yeah um you mentioned school is it hard to balance like uh fitness and school and and also your platforms and everything too uh yeah to be honest it really is but i make it work I, i like to believe i'm pretty good at let's say i'm good at managing everything to fit but I'm not good at I'm not good at timing it right sometimes. So sometimes I'll like get less of something or whatever. But 
like right now I have school, diving, lifting, spending time with family, friends, girlfriend. I just, oh, and plus posting on social media. Plus now I'm planning on starting bigger things. So once I graduate high school, it's going to give me a lot more freedom. That's for sure. Like even when I'm in college, I know I'll have more freedom than when I was in high school. So yeah, I was about to ask that if you're interested in college. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm, I already know where I'm going to college and I plan on renting house with a few of my friends and then going to college for, I, I plan, I'm, I'm going to study sports medicine and like study until I want to be able to drop out, honestly, but if I can't, then I'm going to keep going. But if I drop out, it's going to, it's, I'm not just going to be giving up on school. It's going to be because I have better things. Like I'm making enough money off of whatever else I may be doing so that I don't need college, but if I need the college, I'll go through with it. So I just like to have a backup plan. <laughs> Are you staying in Kansas for college? Yes. I'm going to live at home. Do you have any travel interests, places you'd like to go to? I always like to ask people that. I just think it's interesting. Well, you're going to get a boring answer to that. Then. I don't um, know. <laughs> there's nothing, there's nowhere specific that I, I want to go. It's just like, if someone, if someone came up to me and said like, uh, Hey, let's go here. I'd be like, all right, <laughs> but no, nothing specific. Um, so yeah, you obviously, you have like all the potential in the world. You got all this talent you have a good mindset. What are some goals that you have, um, short term and long term? Short term, short term goals are just to, just to be doing better than I was like the day before or the week before, honestly, as simple as it is. That's how I like to look at it. And long term goals. I want to be making enough money off of this to make a living as well as, making people feel good about themselves and just inspire people in the process. So I'll be making a living, doing what I love, making other people happy. It's just like a win, win, win. Like that's, that's, that's my long-term goals. Yeah. Um, so before we end, I just want to mention um, if you guys could subscribe to the channel, that's kind of how I get paid. I don't get paid for this. Yeah, subscribe. <laughs> so I appreciate any subscribes that, that we get. Um, and yeah, do you have any last words for your supporters? Uh, guys, just check this guy out. He 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 came into my DMs and was just he uh he was really cool. And I we talked for a while, and then he got me on the podcast, and it was great. I enjoyed this. It was my first podcast, so I'll definitely remember this. And make sure to follow everything that you've seen on the screen. <laughs>